Hi, I'm Hannah, I'm 25, I'm from Cardiff and I'm an art teacher working in a secondary school in Aberdeen. I became a teacher because when I was in secondary school I loved art so much um, but when I went to university I thought that I didn't necessarily want to be an artist and the other thing that I loved was youth work and so I put the two together and thought well what about if I taught art and here I am. I think I'm so passionate about teaching because I think that lots of the time it's a bit of an underrated job. I think that people um, don't necessarily realise how hard it is and how much impact you actually have on children's lives and that's just fantastic. I think it's really rewarding. I come home at the end of the day and although I'm really tired, um, I know that hopefully I've had an impact in the say in, in at least one child's life that day which is obviously fantastic. I see Jesus impact my teaching in a number of ways. Um, I think the main way is in the way that I build my relationships with the children. So lots of the time children can just be seen as grades and numbers to get through the school system. Whereas I try to make a, a conscious effort to build relationships with them by running lunchtime clubs, um, asking them what their interests are. If they've got a dance show on, I try and go and see it. Um, and then also with the teachers. So teaching can be a really stressful job although we do have lovely holidays. And so I think that um, because it can be so stressful, I try and I try and bring joy, which quite often goes down um, not too well because they wonder why I'm always so happy. Um, but I try to bring joy to my job, and if they're stressed, you can offer to cook, maybe bring in cakes. Just the small things I found have been the most effective. The message that I would give people about teaching is that, like I said, it's such a rewarding job, and so. Um, if it's something that you think you could do, then I'd say go for it. And I just think it's so amazing, like I said, to have an impact on these children's lives from such a young age. And you, know, you could help them to discover what they enjoy doing and in ways as well you can help them to learn about Jesus where they might not learn about him otherwise. The challenge that I would give to people with teaching is um, you know, obviously God has given us all different gifts and so maybe if you are really passionate about some things, so whether that's football, whether that's baking, whether that's knitting, go into your local school um, or run a youth club and just try and give those children an opportunity to learn something they may not learn otherwise because for lots of them when they go home from school they maybe sit there and watch TV but they don't have any other experiences and so for you, um, you know, if you run a one hour club a week you might actually um, unearth the talent that they didn't even know that they had. The change that I would give to people is to try and instill the love of learning in children. For lots of them, because the school day is so long and they have so many exams, they just forget um, that learning can be fun. And so even if you're not a teacher, um, if you've got nieces or nephews, do things with them that are fun, where they're learning things just to help them to love it again.